but isolation certainly has its compensations for a percussionist. You can make as much racket as you like and the neighbours won't complain. The shearing shed and the sheep yards at Glenroy Estate have long reverberated to a riotous cacophony ever since Nick, as a ten-year-old, began tapping away among the wool fleeces and wool presses. Nick, one wonders what the shearers might have made of that uh, come shearing time. Uh, you, you've often had a bit of a thrash out here in the in the shearing shed. Yeah, th this is a great place to practice because um, there's really no one to disturb apart from the sheep around here. Actually, this is where we had the original Rhythms and Wool Bales concert, which is the annual concert that we have on each year. Yeah. The Rhythms to Wool Bales event was started by Nick and his sister Susan, and was originally staged in their father's shearing shed. Now the two young Parnell entrepreneurs have moved it to the blacksmith's chatter, a refurbished workshop where the Parnell Transport Empire thrived for well over three generations. Now it's where Nick in his occasional concerts out bush transports his audience to faraway places, courtesy of the magic of the marimba. I was really the black sheep of the family because yeah. both of my sisters uh, went working on the land and married farmers and shearers and uh, I decided I wanted to become a musician and, and headed off and did that. From pots and pans and old Milo tins, the Parnell percussive sound has become a little more sophisticated, with the rosewood, jarrah and steel pipes of the marimba filling spaces like the blacksmith's chatter in Oruru.